Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to Claire Audio and True Speaker. I go by the name of Q. How are we doing, beloveds? Today is the 1111 portal. So you already know today is an amazing day for you to master manifest what you would desire or what you desire uh, for the upcoming year or years to come. So this is a beautiful um, and very fertile time to plant seeds, you know, um, to really be intentional uh, with what you desire. So I really encourage you all, you know, even if you're not familiar with how to set your intention or to manifest, you know, you might want to watch, you know, a couple of videos or go to the Barnes and Nobles in your local area and pick up a book and, and, and utilize this powerful energy. This is one of the most powerful um, days, you know, of the year. So um, I strongly encourage you all to utilize this energy and to, uh, you know, start tapping in uh, to manifest what you desire, beloveds. Um, I will you all feel in grounded balance and in alignment. I want to send a happy solar return to all of you 11, 11 babies, um, even you 11, 12 babies. I know my girl, Lady Scorpius, uh, her solar return is on 11, 12. So I want to send special solar return. Shout out to each and every one of you, uh, to anyone's uh, so return who has already passed happy belated um i will that you all are enjoying yourself i will that you all are really really making um your physical day special you know uh if you have beloveds loved ones that have transitioned um i absolutely am picking up like they want you to really celebrate you know celebrate not only yourself but celebrate them like candles get a you know get some cake you know put a piece of cake on their altar um, give them their favorite treats, you know, definitely feed your ancestors, um, anyone whose soul return may have, um, passed, you know, someone who's may have transitioned into the spirit realm. If this soul return is passed, celebrate their day as if they're still here in the physical as well. Um, flowers, some of them love flowers. So definitely put some flowers, put plates of food, their favorite snacks, favorite drinks, favorite liquor, maybe burns a cigar or, um, their favorite cigarettes, whatever the case may be, but celebrate them is what I'm hearing. Um, to anyone that may be new, welcome to the Soul Trap Soul Family. As I said, my name is Q. I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath and I'm also Claire audience. So the way things work on my side of the planet is I incorporate music and the way that it works is the name of the song, lyrics within the song, name of the artist, maybe even the timestamp on the clock, the numbers in the cards. It will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively as well as what the cards may be showing. And it all just kind of blends very beautifully. Um, so my spiel here is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If the reading doesn't apply, just let it fly by. I know that you're more than just your sun sign. So check your natal chart to see what your other placements might be. And, you know, check those readings that correspond to that. Um, my readings are also timeless. So whenever this video has popped up in your feed or whenever you felt compelled to cl click play, whether by means of the time stamp on the, uh, the video or by the video um, title, uh, that was all divine timing and in divine order that you've done so, beloveds. Um, so without further ado, we're not going to do too much speaking today. We're just going to dive right into the reading you know, proceed with the read. But before we do, you already know we got to do some house cleaning. Ashe. So let's go ahead and do that. Ashe. I call upon the elements of water, fire, Earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mode it be. Ashe, 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 yo. So let's see what we have playing on the playlist and the timestamp. So it is uh, 9.32, which breaks down to 5. So 5, um, and it just turned to 6. So we'll break down both of those numbers. So 5 is uh, associated with the throat chakra. 
So I'm feeling like you could be finding your voice. You could be speaking your truth. Um, it also is associated with the Hierophant. So you could be learning, studying. Um, you could be sitting under the feet of the master teacher, healer, shaman, light worker. You could be going to school. You could be studying classes or in classes studying. Um, that's a very studious energy that also speaks to spiritual strength and growth and learning, um, evolving, mentally evolving, emotionally, spiritually. It's like growing. Um, I'm also getting maturation. Um, so a lot of you have been really, you know, um, you know, maturing. Um, I just feel more so spiritual because you are already, you know, mature adults. But I feel there's more of a spiritual um, focus on the maturation. Uh, so this is like there's a positive changes that could be occurring in your life based off of perhaps um, your ch the, the changes that you've been making within yourselves. Uh, I feel there could also be some expected in um, incoming communication um, from someone that you may not have heard from in a while because that five does deal with the throat chakra. I also get a sense of you like mastering your craft, sharpening your sword as well. Like just really like learning something, really dedicating a lot of your time, you know, to master a craft or to, you know, just build your wealth of knowledge. Um, some of you could be going through some sort of training um, procedures or processes right now. Maybe if you just recently um, received a promotion, you could be going through the training process, um, the onboarding process. Um, that six that we saw is also associated with the first eye. So I do feel like spirit is always, you know, encouraging you to trust your intuition, always encouraging you to, you know, use your first eye to see, but also to use discernment. Um, the six is also associated with the lovers. So this could be speaking to being in harmony with yourself, being, making sure to do things, um, you know, uh, and, 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 uh, to ensure things remain balanced or to make sure that you are harmonized uh, when making decisions. So perhaps going within uh, to ensure that, um, you know, the decisions that you're making are going to be um, successful uh, decisions. We have uh, Poor Righteous Teachers and the name of the song is called Black um, Business. So some of you all could be, you know, business owners. Maybe you are black owned, but you have a black owned business. So that, you know, maybe you are kind of um, navigating a, a, a something new, a new, you're in new territory. So spirit is telling you uh, to use your intuition or to make sure that um, you communicate effectively your needs, you know, whatever it is. Um, even if you're learning something in terms of business, um, make sure to do your due diligence, to do your research, um, Especially if you're just jump, just jump starting a business. So look what we have. We got five and we just started the reading with a five. So we got five and this is change. So something is changing. I feel, um, yeah, I'm hearing for the better, you know, um, change is always necessary. Change is always good. Um, change, even if you feel like there's, um, some sort of delay or blockage, it is in, you know, the change is encouraging you perhaps to change your perspective of, you know, a situation. So if you are um, a business owner, if you are pursuing or embarking on some new venture, um, maybe there are some, you know, some, uh, some changes that you may need to implement in order to get things running smoothly. Maybe you need to, you know, kind of take a step back and assess the situation. My nose is starting to tingle, so might be on the nose for some of you, but there is a change and I feel there's a positive change. I feel there's some communication that will also change you, uh, your perspective. We have Beyonce, me, myself, and I. So um, the me, myself, and I energy, um, I always liken that to, you know, De La Soul, uh, the Nine of Cups rather. Um, you know, I call that the De La Soul card, but Beyonce also, you know, has, um, you know, made a song saying me, myself and I. So I feel like there's going to be a change in terms even of your relationship status, because maybe you've just been single, um, for quite some time. And I feel like that's about to change. I feel like you may hear from someone you haven't heard from in a while, um, who's going to change your own opinion about, you know, being in a relationship or not. Um, but there is a positive change. What we have on the split, I can't make this up, relationship change. Look at that. <laughs> so I'm saying that there's somebody coming in. So a lot of you have been single for quite some time. And that is the change. So you've been by yourself for a minute. This five and this 56, that reduces to 11. We have 11 um, today is the 1111 portal. 
So I do feel like that's something that's opening up for you all is that there is perhaps, um, you know, this, this positive change coming in for you in terms of love. Uh, what you don't know is that it's coming in quickly because that's, uh, these, this five and this 56 breaks down to 11, that breaks down to two. Um, so this is saying that something's coming in quickly because that seven is associated with the chariot. Perhaps some of you all know this. Maybe someone is thinking about you so much and they're being encouraged to be assertive and go after what they want. But I do feel many of you who are single will not be single for much longer because something positive is changing. And I feel that someone that you haven't heard from in a while is going to reach out um, and communicate with you. And this is going to change perhaps the dynamic of that relationship. It's going to change um, even your status is what I'm hearing. So, you know, someone could be from Texas. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. Someone finds you to be very attractive, you know, a goddess, a boss, um, someone who knows their worth and value. I feel someone has been working on changing themselves or someone has been maturing and growing and learning. I'm getting a sense of like teaching and learning. So maybe someone has been kind of taking notes from you or someone has been kind of like, you know, kind of watching you from a distance um, and really just kind of like, um, you know, realizing that they need to, you know, kind of step their game up in order to pursue you. Uh, but this is definitely someone who's um, who's also been growing personally. They see you as someone very spiritual or very wise or very earthy or very you know, um, nurturing, very loving, very emotionally intelligent. So I feel like that's something that they're kind of trying to come in and match. Um, and I see 11, 11 on the clock. So you do have some sort of divine masculine, divine feminine that could be coming in because 11, 11 is the vibration, um, of, you know, that twin flame union, but it's also the vibration of that heart chakra, the number four. So that four deals with the heart chakra. So someone could be coming in and could be emoting, you know, could be expressing, could be, you know, um, showing you love. So let's tap in. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. What messages you have? So a lot of you have been really working on um, your singlehood, you know, really feeling very empowered or liberated by leaving toxic, volatile relationships um, and just taking that time to love yourselves, heal yourselves. Um, and that's why your outside world is now going to reflect what your inside world um, reflects. You know, when you do your internal work, things start shifting, um, in your world, uh, for the better, you know? So I do feel like there's some positive things, uh, that are changing for you. Uh, there's some good news or you're getting in touch with people, uh, that you genuinely had dope connections with. Um, but because you had work to do, I feel like you kind of had to establish boundaries, um, and you kind of had to disconnect and unplug, detach kind of, you know, from the outside world and really focus on yourself. And those that, you know, um, respected your boundaries, I, I feel like they didn't take offense. Maybe initially they felt, um, you know, they may have felt like rejected or abandoned. Um, but I feel like the more they saw you work on yourself, it just encouraged and inspired them to work on themselves. And then they kind of had this epiphany. Uh, like, oh, I see, I get it. Like, the, it, you got to take care of you. Self-preservation is very important. So a lot of people forget that. They feel almost obligated to your energy or obligated to you um, in a way where they get offended because you're working on yourself or you're pursuing your dreams. So you may not have all, you know, the time that they were so used to getting, you know, and you may have had to say no to people and it, it, it offended them initially, but when they started to do their own work, they started to understand on a deeper level, um, the importance of, you know, kind of like going into seclusion or going into that hermit mode to really master your oneself, you know, cause you got to heal yourself in order to love yourself. And then when you love yourself, then you know that self. And when you get to that space of knowing that self, then you know your worth and you know your value, you know what you deserve. So I definitely feel someone you haven't spoken to in a while is going to reach out and communicate. What we have in the bottom of the deck is we have 46, domestic harmony. So there's definitely this connection. I feel like I'm getting immediately 10 of pentacles. Uh, this is like, you know, someone who's coming in <clears throat> wanting to be loyal. And I see 96, it says forgiveness. So this could potentially be someone, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> Definitely could be someone who may have had some difficulties expressing themselves or could have been, you know, emotionally stunted, not as, as um, available or attentive perhaps in the past. Maybe they weren't um, 
you know, they just didn't know how to emote. And, you know, that could have led to an ending. But every ending denotes a new beginning. I feel like right now someone feels like, you know, you're their peace. I heard you're my peace. You know, someone may feel like you bring a lot of peace. We got don't disturb the screw, you know. So I do get a sense of like someone may feel like you are very um, <clears throat> maybe guarded. You know, maybe you've established boundaries uh, with someone who you may have felt um, could have been kind of toying with your emotions or not really showing up or being available. I feel that there's definitely an apology uh, that can change the dynamic because I do feel someone feels they can have it all with you also. Like this is someone that wants to build with you. This is someone that can see like a future, see that happy house, happy spouse energy. You know, I'm definitely getting someone loves you, you know, and this is what they may communicate because you have green on the inside of that symbol and that does deal with the heart chakra. And I feel this is that person that thinks of you a lot and so much so that they're ready to communicate. They may feel like you are guarded, which is why they could be mustering up the strength and courage. I also feel this is someone very attracted to you, you know, <clears throat> I feel like they're very attracted to you. So let's tap in. And being that there's a car here, I do feel like there's also this distance, you know. So this person is willing and ready to, you know, what I'm hearing is like close the gap on the distance. Like this is someone that really, truly wants to, um, you know, really wants to repair the connection or um, really wants to, you know, um, have this fresh start with you. You know, because I'm getting a sense of someone that's very passionate, someone who desires you, someone who has this fire burning. It's almost like this burning, um, this, 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 like, I'm just feeling like something's erupting, you know, you know, and it's just like this, 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 it's like they, they, they feel like it's now or never, you know, maybe they feel this confidence now, but I feel like they're prepared to apologize because it's, it's like, as I said, like, I feel whoever this is, they've matured emotionally I feel in the past they could have been emotionally stunted or they were not as you know they just weren't as uh, communicative or they weren't as um, attentive or they didn't really make much of an effort and I feel like it didn't have anything to do with them not being interested I feel it had everything to do with their lack of confidence so I feel like they they definitely weren't as confident and now they're ready and prepared to come towards you because this 46 and this 96 reduces to seven so this is that same person, like I said, that's now being more assertive. You know, they've mustered up the strength, the courage, they've assessed, they, you know, they feel more balanced, you know, in that harmony, you know, they may feel you're the yin to their yang, yang to their yin. So now they're ready to take action. They're ready to come see you. I do feel like, you know, you may live at a distance because I see this car, you know, and I feel in their mind, they may feel like you are, um, you may be guarded, but they definitely, you know, are hoping you're going to be uh, forgiving or you hi you just woke up from your nap I definitely feel they're gonna be um, hoping that you're gonna be you know show a little compassion and not judge them so who or what is our beloved Scorpios attracting to them let me get a message of peace power and protection my beautiful spirit what messages do you have for our beloved Scorpios for who or what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them let me get a message of peace power and protection spirit thank you we have on the bottom of the deck what did I say about you teaching someone and them learning from you. They've been observing you. Because this breaks down to 12. And that 12 is associated with that um, hangman. So that hangman is really, you know, showing that someone is taking the time. It's like a sacrificial position the spirit will put you in. When you are too much in your ego, when you're being stubborn, or when you're being hard-headed, spirit will force you in a position where you have to look at things from a completely different, you know, vantage point. And so now they're seeing you as an empress, a goddess, because that 12 breaks down to 3. They're seeing you as an emperor, as a god. There is distance because I hear the train going off or the, the, you know, so there's definitely distance and this person does want to close the gap. This is someone that's very, very inspired by you. Like you've inspired them or you've intrigued them. This is the card that's going to be on the bottom of the deck when we pull how they feel about you. But the cards that came out for who or what you're attracting is you have 41 self-discipline. So this is someone that definitely has been working on themselves because this 41 breaks down to five. And remember what I said about the Hierophant, it's a very studious energy. Someone could have been getting, you know, advice from like a matriarch, patriarch in the family, you know. And with Oshun Brown, some of you all, they find you to be very beautiful, very attractive, very strong, very powerful. Oshun is an Orisha, very beautiful Orisha. You know, this is someone that can see themselves, you know, marrying you. This is someone that's definitely very attracted to you. But this is someone that's very mature now. They've been learning from you. So whatever growing pains, 
that they've had. Um, it's like they've learned, hi, baby girl. Hi. So here goes Katara. So you know this is a real reading when she shows up. Hi, baby girl. That's that baby friend. Hi, friend. So someone has been learning. And this self-discipline is showing that they not only, um, you know, have been maturing, but I feel like they've really been implementing a lot of self-love, self-worth, self-care. I feel like they didn't really, you know, maybe they didn't really understand love in the way, um, you know, that you did. And that's some of the maturing that they had to do. They had to find their own, um, they had to find love within themselves. Because love is truly an inside job first, you know, and that green on the inside shows that they really had to, you know, kind of go within. And they had to be honest. They had to prioritize themselves. I feel they will communicate, you know. They will communicate effectively how they feel. And this five and this one, you know, is showing that this is someone that uh, does see you as, you know, like I'm hearing they're equal, you know. And I feel like they feel that way now. Maybe they feel more confident that they have something to offer you, you know, because the six is associated with the lovers. It's also the first die. You know, so this person thinks about you often, dreams about you, you know, but I feel they're also using their intuition. You know, with brown, um, I definitely feel this person feels you you ground them because that brown deals with the earth energy. So they do feel like you ground them, that you're grounding, that you're nurturing, that you're loving, you know. They may see you as someone very self-sufficient, very independent because they do see that you have been, you know, on that me, myself, and I energy. And remember, I spoke to like the nine of cups where you love yourself. And when you love yourself, you take great care of yourself. And, and at the same time, you're loving yourself. Others are watching you love on yourself and that makes you more attractive. So when they do come in, when they do approach you, they know that they have to, you know, they have to meet you where you are in that regard. And maybe that's some of the learning that they had to do is, you know, learning how to, to love, learning how to emote but this person this person does feel you're very attractive you know and that six like I said that's also you know maybe someone is at a distance because I do feel like you made you know an executive decision to move away to create a safe space or your you know your own sanctuary you know and um you know that move really triggered someone encouraged someone um, yeah, they're going to come in. This, this was poking out and I said, let me see what this is. So they do find you as like the yin to their yang, yang to their yin. You also have, um, what flew out is 56 relationship change. So this is that same person. This is that same person. And that six and that two, they find you to be a wish fulfillment because this is two, this is five, seven, and that's eight. And remember, we just saw that follow your dreams. So whenever I see follow your dreams, I think of the star. So this could be something that you've been manifesting. This could be something that you have been calling in. Maybe you've been calling in love and maybe someone that you never would imagine reappears because spirit is answering your call. For some of you, that may be your, your truth is someone from your past might actually be the yin to your yang or your twin flame or your soulmate. You know, you want your belly rubbed, that little baby friend. Oh, yeah, little baby. You know, so this is definitely someone that you um, may find to be like a wish fulfillment because this is who or what you're attracting to. And you've been very patient, you know, so that eight and this two, this is this I was getting initially like the ten of pentacles and my throat is getting blocked. So someone had to really learn to um, express themselves. I feel like someone gets very afraid to, to communicate. I don't know if it's with you per se or if this is just who they are. I feel like, you know, maybe something happened during their childhood where they may not have felt like they could communicate or express themselves. Maybe whenever they tried to speak, you know, they were kind of like um, shunned. Maybe they didn't feel heard by, you know, a mother or a father. And that's something that they carried out in all of their relationships. But I'm also getting with this too. I'm, I'm also seeing like the two of cups. You know, good things take time to create. So it's very important, um, you know, whilst you wait, 24, 24, that's 6, 6, that's 12. So this person is realizing through their own assessment, you know, because I'm getting a sense. My nose is itching like crazy, y'all. So through their own assessment, assessment or observation, um, you know, they're realizing a different angle or they're realizing, you know, what your love language is, perhaps. You know, they're even, you know, discovering um, their own inhibitions, you know? So 
with this too, I do feel like this, this, you know, decision, executive decision that they will eventually make. All of these cards reduced to 10. So maybe someone was really, um, you know, going through their own dark night of the soul journey, or they were going through some sort of karmic um, lesson as well. And it's wrapping up. So they've been through, you know, many changes, same as you. And these changes are now, you know, um, allowing for them to embark on a new future or embark on a new um, venture or journey. And we have Michelle and Dale Cello, and this is called Pocketbook. So someone could be of African des descent, you know, Jay Dilla, Rising Power King. So I'm definitely getting a sense, um, some of you can be from Detroit. Some of you could be from, um, I'm here in Tennessee. Some of you could be from the DMV area. But with pocketbooks, some of you all may be gifted with like an expensive purse or pocketbook. You know, women not only have pocketbooks, they even have like man bags now. So I don't know if someone gifted you. I'm, I don't know why I'm seeing Gucci, a Gucci sign. I'm seeing like Chanel, you know, I'm, I'm really not into all of that. But I, I just feel like someone got gifted a very expensive um, pocketbook for their solar return, you know. Someone got it, you know, and, and when you got the pocketbook, there was, you know, it was like, it was a never ending gift because not only did you get the pocketbook, but there was also money inside of the pocketbook. I'm getting a sense of that as well. I'm hearing also like, um, like in some, it, I believe it's in, um, in Spanish tradition, if I'm not mistaken, like if you gift someone a purse or a wallet and you don't put money in there, it's bad luck, you know? So if you are thinking about gifting someone a purse or a pocketbook, make sure even if you put $20 in there, like don't gift someone a purse or a wallet without putting, you know, money in it because that could be considered like bad luck. I don't know why that download just came in. But for some of you, this is applicable, so that's why it came in. But yeah, someone's getting a pocketbook for their solar return. Hate to spoil that for you. But how someone feels about you is we have the teaching and learning. So you have been someone's teacher. You could be the student and the teacher at the same time. So whilst you're learning, someone could be learning from you. You never know who you're inspiring. You know, you never know who's watching. And we have Rakim, the mystery. So someone finds you to be very mysterious, very intriguing. That's what intrigues them about you. This is someone that really watches you. This is someone that really, you know, and, and, and they're looking at you, like I said, with a completely different perspective now. It's like now they see you. In the past, they didn't really see you. And I feel like it had nothing to do with you. It had everything to do with them needing to, you know, kind of mature and grow up, you know, kind of like, you know, open their first eye. Because I feel like they were kind of under some sort of ill use of their ions. They didn't, you know, it was like you were hidden in plain sight, like they couldn't really see you. And that's why the, the self-discipline card came out for who or what you're attracting to you because they had to, you know, kind of work on the self. Same way you were working on yourself, someone, you inspired someone else to work on themselves. So how does this person, who or what, our beloved Scorpio is attracting to them? So this card is stuck in my hand. We got 33 communication. I told you there was some communication coming. So someone is definitely wanting to communicate. We have 27 spiritual partnership. I also told you that with that 1111, that someone may feel like you are the yin to their yang, yang to their yin, like there's some sort of spiritual connection or bond, chemistry, but this communication, they communicate with you telepathically. I feel someone is having that epiphany after having that moment of pondering or having that moment of introspection or observation. I definitely get someone kind of watching you from a distance and liking what they see and realizing they want to take action because the six is also for some reason giving me like the six of swords. You know, someone may feel like very inspired to come and communicate or come towards you or to take some sort of action. I definitely feel like they see you as someone that's full of light, full of, you know, love, someone very, you know, like I said, down to earth, very strong. Maybe they're mustering up their strength, courage, and wise dome. Whenever I see double numbers, I feel like this is you matching someone, you know, this person's energy, whoever you're attracting. So you're matching someone's fly or someone's energy, or they feel that about you. And that three is associated with the Ascended Master. So this can be, in fact, you know, someone that your angels and guides, ancestors are aligning you with. 
You know, that three is also a master number that deals with the ascended masters. So your angels are, you know, definitely, um, you know, bringing this person in six that this breaks down to is the lovers. So if you think of the lovers, there's a beautiful angelic presence overseeing that bond, that union, that connection, that alliance. That could even be speaking to you feeling very much in harmony, in balance, and someone feeling very inspired, you know, feeling like they need to muster up the strength, courage and wisdom to come toward you, to communicate, to express something. Remember that same person that wanted your forgiveness. So that's why I feel like with the three, the solar plexus, you know, they're, they're mustering up the strength because this is how they feel about you is they want to communicate, you know, they've already had the epiphany that they want to express these feelings. And I'm hearing a, a, a crow and crows, birds always denote, you know, or, um, indicate some sort of message, you know, that's a message from your angels, that's communication coming. So that's just double confirmation that you do have communication coming in. Oh, I love you, friend. I don't mean to disturb you. I'm going to put you here, okay? Because uh, I got to make room for the cards. I don't want to drop this. Okay, let me open up. Don't want to mess up my cards. All right, so so someone's definitely coming to communicate because this is how they feel about you. So someone is definitely feeling like they want to take action, even if that's the Six of Swords energy that I was seeing, where someone may be coming in towards you. You know, someone may be coming towards you, driving up towards you. Because remember, I saw on the um, that Don't Disturb This Groove song, the system, you know, someone may be assuming that you are going to be very guarded, you know, and, and they were driving. There was a car. So I was feeling like there's distance and someone may want to close the gap. Oh, that's my little baby friend. Oh, that baby friend. She's so special. So the spiritual partnership, what's hidden, you don't realize. But I told y'all, expect this. You have a beautiful bond, beautiful connection. That spirit is aligning you with someone that is made in your likeness. This is definitely why I was picking up the Ten of Pentacles. You know, the happy house, happy spouse, happily ever after. This would be someone that would be like your homie, lover, friend. This would be someone that you will build with, cultivate with. Someone that you can grow old with. Someone that's loyal, faithful, trustworthy, honest, communicative. All of the things you may have been praying for and asking for. Because this, you know, remember I saw that wish fulfillment. And I do feel like this is someone, you know, that feels you are that to them. Because remember that card was kind of poking out the um, follow your dreams card. And I was like, yeah, someone's definitely looking at you as a wish fulfillment. Looking at you as someone that they could build and grow with. We have golden child here for some of y'all. You give birth to like a golden child, a star seed. Someone may see you as such. Like you may be someone that just shines bright. You know, you just may have a glow. This is a very beautiful, luminous card. You know, that's the color of the sun. So this person feels you bring a lot of happiness that you are very, you know, very um, soothing to their soul. Like I was picking up that that grounding energy that they felt you had because we had Oshun brown playing. But some of you, you could be a very beautiful chocolate colored brown. Someone may find you to be like, you know, just beautiful. Even if you're not brown, maybe you have beautiful brown eyes, you know. But when I think of brown, I just think of a very grounding energy, earthy energy. Someone just down to earth. You know, you could be very beautiful or very handsome. And, you know, people may assume you could be conceited or airheaded or big headed. And when they approach you, you're just mad earthy, mad cool, just different than what they imagine. Great communicator, funny. You have a great sense of humor. It's like you're the, the complete opposite of what they thought. So that's why, you know, someone could be up in their head perhaps of, you know, how the conversation is going to go. Cause I was picking up someone just kind of like, you know, cause they're coming in like, you know, they want forgiveness. So if this is someone that, you know, you know, um, you know, maybe this is someone that you haven't spoken to in a, a long time and maybe things just kind of fell off. Um, but it's like, Someone wants to pick up the pieces. I'm hearing that song. Pick up the pieces. You know, like they want to pick up the pieces, you know. And I'm not getting a toxic ex. So I have to, you know, I have to make that known. This is not like no toxic ex. This is like someone that you just could have lost contact with. You know, maybe things didn't, you know, work out initially. But it's like spirit is bringing this. It's like back around one more again, you know, another opportunity. And with Golden Child, you know, this says jealous. 
I just peeked that it says jealousy. So maybe someone was very jealous in the past. It turned someone off. Maybe someone's jealous, you know, you know, someone's jealous tendencies, you know, kind of like shown, you know, because I, I was picking up someone having a mature um, emotionally. So that could have been some of um, the battles that someone had to kind of like fight was their own inner demons. Because when you're jealous of others, is that that shine that says more about you um, and your lack of trust. There has to be something within you, within your shadow side, um, that needs some healing. There's work that needs to be done, you know. And instead of doing the work, a lot of times we project it onto the people that we deal with. And I just saw 35, 35. That breaks down to um, 16. 16 breaks down to 7. So there was a lot of deception, you know, especially with the jealousy. So someone was very deceptive in the past, perhaps. You know, maybe they weren't being honest about the options they had because seven is showing me initially. I saw the seven of swords and I heard deception. Then I saw the seven of cups. Someone had a lot of options. And instead of being honest or forthcoming and communicating, um, you know, their truth, they could have just been trying to juggle or trying to be a player and they weren't very good at it. And so that could have cost them you or that could have cost them the relationship that could have made you, you know, you weren't as interested in as you were initially because you may have saw things that, you know, turned you off. Or maybe this is a vice versa situation. But now I feel like someone is now more harmonized and more balanced. They've been doing more work on themselves. And now they've learned and now they want to come in and communicate, perhaps communicate an apology. And we have Foxy Brown, another reference to Brown. So now they want to ground the connection. It says, got to get you home. So someone feels like you're the home, the hearth. You're the, the, you know, the one that got away, perhaps. They feel like they could build with you. Because I was getting, again, the Ten of Pentacles here. So that's like that happy house, happy spouse type of energy. That's someone that wants to be like, be with you. You know, because we, you know, I just get a sense of like this being someone that wants to build and, and cultivate, you know, plant seeds, plant roots. So with what's on the... Bottom of the deck for what's hidden. We got this beautiful spiritual partnership. So there is a beautiful spiritual partnership that's coming into union very soon. I feel like during this 11-11 portal is when most of you will find yourselves coming into that, you know, beautiful um, union. Maybe during next year, these things will start taking, um, it will start taking action. Like things will start forming like Voltron, if you will, you know. So what's hidden came out and we have parenting. 63 so a lot of you had to heal your relationships with your parents and that's the reason why now this 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 door this opportunity this you know this this um this new phase and stage in your life is now presenting itself you got 26 love and remember we did see 26 26 on the clock so that's definitely saying that there is a wish fulfillment in terms of love you know maybe someone is returning because i'm also getting like the eight of cups what's hidden is someone is coming or returning, coming toward you. You know, someone is coming toward you with a message. Someone is coming toward you to express something that they've been feeling for quite some time. You know, that eight and that six reduces to 14. 14 reduces to five. So that's saying that someone is definitely coming in to communicate. This is what you don't realize. I feel like a lot of you had to heal, you know, your, your, you know, your trauma from your uh, childhood or from your you know, your familial trauma, you know, you had to forgive your, your, your mothers, your fathers. I definitely feel you're also like birthing something new. Like you've really been in like, um, that creative mode. You know, I'm just seeing someone like just really being very creative, you know, really literally turning their vulnerabilities into superpowers. Cause I'm getting like that hermit energy, even though this, this says parenting, I just get a sense of like you, you, you know, building, you know, these, these, uh, new ways of thinking, you know, like new projects, birthing, I should say new ways of thinking. You've been in the incubation, you know, process, you know, like really cooking things up and, and, and this process you've been learning as you go as well. And then you're going to emerge someone completely different, you know, cause this is like, you know, you've really been doing a lot of work, a lot of internal work. And, um, I feel like you just really just been more focused on, um, just getting, um, get into, get into this, this place where you're like manifesting your dreams, 
because you already know that, you know, the answers you seek or, sh you know, you're seeking are always found within. And maybe you were inspired and encouraged to, you know, start walking in your truth or in your authenticity. And that's where you discovered that, you know, you know, with that number five that we started the reading off with, that you actually have skills that you can hone. And you've been, you know, taking the time to develop those skills, you know, to sharpen those skills. So what is the outcome? So we have simply read holding back the years. Thank you, spirit. So with holding back the years, this is like, you know, kind of holding on to memories, holding on, you know, to those good times. You know, with red, that's the color of passion. That's also the color of the root chakra. I'm also getting a sense of you having to heal at a, you know, heal that root chakra and get to the root cause of the issues because those things could have been kind of, you know, energetic blocks or hindering some of you all from, from growing or from moving to the next stage. As I said, you had to, you know, heal those familial traumas, you know, the, the relationships with your mothers and fathers could have been very traumatic and you had to learn to forgive with 88 abundance. Your wishes are coming true. This is a double number. So you are attracting your wish fulfillment. I feel you're going to be very elated. What did I say? Your wishes are coming true. Bam, boom. So your wishes are absolutely coming true. And it has a lot to do with you completing and wrapping up cycles. Whoever your person is, is definitely rushing in whatever wishes or whatever prayers or whatever it is you've been, you know, calling in, they're rushing in sooner, quicker than you can imagine. And this is definitely saying you're going to be very fulfilled emotionally. I feel fulfilled financially. This is, um, you know, receiving more than you ever could imagine. Someone is going to be very intentional this time. Can I have a very natural connection bond? You know, with this person is a very beautiful connection. We already saw that spiritual partnership. This is someone that you know, someone that you definitely have um, a lot in common with. I do feel like, as I said, this is a very grounding type of energy, but this is also someone that will give to you equally. I feel the two of you will really um, complement one another, but someone is going to put forth the effort. I feel in the past what led to the demise of a partnership or what led to something kind of fizzling out because I get a sense of something not even, you know, it never started. You know, like it, it was like you, you, you were perhaps trying to see where something would go, um, but it just never took off. And it's because whoever that person was that lacked that confidence or lacked that ability to communicate effectively or lacked the ability to, sh to emote, um, they just didn't make the effort. They didn't, that's what I was picking up because the 67 reduces the 13. I just saw 42, 42. So that's six, six, that's 12. So that's that same person. They had to take some time to look at things from a different perspective. And they may have realized themselves that they didn't do as much as they could have. You know, with Simply Red holding back the years, they are absolutely like looking back and reflecting, you know, a lot on, you know, those, those shots that they didn't take. Because this is someone that didn't take the shots. They didn't, you know, they didn't shoot their shot. They didn't take initiative. They didn't communicate effectively. I feel like they live in their head a lot, whoever this is. And we got the 74 nature. So I do feel like now there is this sense of someone making a decision because the 74 reduces to 11. They want justice in this situation. And I feel you're getting your just due more importantly. And I feel things will grow. Things will blossom. And I feel it's because someone is trusting their intuition to come forward. You know, and this is leading to emotional fulfillment, satisfaction, joy. This is leading to, you know, you also, um, you know, something moving forward. You know, this is like, for me, like I said, the chariot. When you think of the chariot, there are two horses. So that's yin and yang energy as well. And I feel like this is just saying that there's going to just be um, just this blossoming abundance, but also, you know, the door to personal healing and happiness is really opening up for my beloved Scorpios, and it's not by happenstance. I feel it has a lot to do with, you know, a lot of the work you all have been putting in. So we have um, mummy. Look at this change. So you have some changes that are being affected right now. Spirit is definitely making changes. When I see this mummy, you know, I, I you know, you think of mummies. They are considered, you know, th th they wrap bodies like an ancient Kemet. They would wrap the body up, you know, and, and um, bury it.
um, four, 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 four. So you have angels watching over you, but I feel, you know, your death and transformation, um, is definitely, um, bringing forth some sort of positive change. Someone you haven't spoken to in a while, who's kind of been kind of like in, I'm hearing the word hibernation, you know, and when you think of the hermit, that's literally, he's like in a cave alone in solitude, kind of going within doing introspective, respective work or uh, reflective work, pardon me. Um, and that's what I'm getting a sense, like mums the word. So this is someone you haven't heard from. This is someone that has been watching though. And if you look, this is the moon over um, his head. So this is someone that's def definitely sending you messages intuitively or telepathically, someone that could be dreaming of you very much. Um, on the sp um, split, we have uh, exploring wildness, werewolf. So this is someone that has been going within, you know, realizing, you know, that they do, I'm hearing have a wild side. Maybe this is someone that could have been very reserved, you know, but this energy, you know, with exploring wildness, you know, someone could have been very like reserved or just kind of like, um, not as bold. And now I just feel someone is taking like a giant leap, you know, to, to take action, to come towards you. Someone that feels a lot of passion, you know. That's a beautiful energy to be in as well, especially with the, you know, because you, when you, you just like that to me is just speaking to like adventure and spontaneity with that wolf, you know. So let's tap in. Why is this 46 domestic harmony here? And we have about him playing. And this is Alexis Isley. So some of you all could have been thinking about a divine masculine. Some of you divine masculines could be thinking about a divine feminine. But someone is thinking about you all is what I'm getting. You know, someone definitely is up in their head a lot, trying to figure out how to take action, trying to figure out how to come towards you. You know, that's what I'm getting. I'm just getting a sense of someone really trying to figure out how to come towards you, what to say, how to manifest you back. Because the one does deal with the, you know, with that um, magician. So they could be trying to like, you know, set their intentions. Maybe they're doing some sort of rituals. Maybe they're trying to invoke you know, your energy or something. So the overall energy is we have uh, ancestors and it says the love and legacy of our DNA. So when you look at this beautiful tree, the tree represents family, you know, but you could also see like the DNA, you know, that beautiful um, signature. This is a beautiful genetic signature, which says that you are coming into a sacred bond and union with someone. I saw 4747 as I was saying that, and that's 1111 yet again. So that's double, triple confirmation because we even saw, you know, the, um, well, um, you know, we saw that earlier, rather, double confirmation. So this is saying that whoever this is, this is someone that's absolutely meant to be in your family tree. Like this is someone that you're destined to be with. With this domestic partner, I initially felt, you know, that that was the 10 of pentacles. And when you think of a tree, that's that person that wants to plant the seeds and the roots, you know, with you, someone that wants to build with you. And it says the love and legacy of our DNA. So this is a part of your legacy. If you look, there's green, you know, even on that tree, there's green in the, on the symbol. So this is a love that is very sacred. You know, this is written in the stars. It's, this is destined, you know, this is a destiny type of love. This is destined. That's beautiful. Who or what you're attracting to you. We have midnight on the bottom of the deck and it says the most magical hour of all. So someone absolutely could be manifesting another person using time. You know, um, when you utilize magic, it's like you literally, um, time collapses. So I feel some, some of you all, you know, whether you're manifesting, but something is coming in because I see that it's happening in divine timing. And that's why spirit is reminding you of patience because good things take time to create. And what's requiring patience is this relationship change with that person that has been really maturing and growing. You know, this person that will be communicating with you effectively. This person that now sees your worth, sees your value because they know their own worth and know their own value because they have 
been disciplining themselves and showing themselves self-love, self-worth first and foremost, you know. So it's the beautiful energy of what you're attracting to you. And I feel it's, you know, spirit is saying it's happening um, in divine timing. And we have the temptations. Um, and this says, um, I know I'm losing you. And it says, I wish it would rain. So this must be like a medley. So someone definitely um, feels like it's a matter of timing. Like the time, remember when I was saying, I feel like someone feels like time. It's like they got to do it now or never because they feel like they're losing you because they know you have options, you know, because you've been growing and maturing. You're just very attractive right now. You could be in the spotlight. You could be doing so many things because you've been working so hard on yourself that I feel like you're drawing a lot to you as well. And I was picking up like that Empress Emperor energy, especially you know, with the threes here, you know, so someone is looking at you as someone, you know, who knows your worth and value now. So why is, um, why is this, uh, 41 self-discipline, 56 relationship change and the number two patience here for who or what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck, we have ghost regret. So someone does have a lot of regret for not taking, you know, um, taking action when they could have or should have in the past. Zombie, it says control. Someone was very controlling. Someone was trying to control a situation. Maybe someone was feeling out of control. You know, but a zombie is like a, the walking dead. So someone was definitely not being their authentic self. And this, you know, caused them to lose control. That's why you created distance because someone, you know, because remember we saw jealous. So someone was definitely operating in their shadow side. It was hiding a lot of things, trying to control the narrative even, you know, not being honest or not being forthcoming about, you know, things that were going on and you may have discovered those things. And that's why you initially, which, you know, maybe it was a turnoff. Maybe someone was trying to control you or trying to manipulate in some way. And now there's regrets. They have to live with those regrets. I feel like that's something that they are constantly riddled with is, you know, thinking about how they allowed, um, you know, something, you know, how they allowed this relationship to kind of um, to get away from them. But I see them breaking free like, you know, this is someone almost like I'm this is I'm, I'm just getting resilience. Because even though this person has been buried, it's like, you know, they're, they're now coming back. It's like they're breaking free from, you know, this, this um, perhaps an illusion. Because it could be their own, you know, their, it's like self-deception is what I'm getting as well. You know, someone's waking up because when you have regret, that means that, you know, that, that time, you know, where you were kind of in that hermit uh, mode or in hangman status you you now see things differently so maybe now there's you know this communication the reason why this communication comes through where someone does apologize because they can you know take onus and accountability or you know responsibility for their actions so you got a couple of messages including this one that's stuck in my hand and so we have death here yep the death and the rebirth so it says the eternal cycle begins here so now this person wants to spark this connection. Someone has had some sort of epiphany after going through, you know, some sort of uh, startling metamorphosis, you know, because this is them waking up now. So the death is like this person's coming back to life. So whatever control issues they may have had, you know, it's come to light. You know, this is something they were trying to hide, you know, maybe just faulty belief systems, ideologies, habits, you know. But what flew out is we have owl wise seeing wise action what did i say about someone feeling that you're very wise down to earth nurturing you know just someone very very earthy you know the owls are very wise very intelligent animals and they're also very intuitive they're also you know they could see very very well at night you know where you know other people's vision could be a little blurry a little iffy it's like, you know, even other animals, you know, there's a lot of birds that can't see at night, hence them, you know, kind of hiding out in their nest until daylight. But an owl can see at night, you know, it could even see in the daytime. Um, you know, I've seen owls perched up and flying in the daytime even. 
you know, but, um, so this just speaks to you being able to see through the illusion. So they know how intuitive you are. They know how wise you are, you know, they feel like you can see right through them as well. And that's why I feel like they felt like they had to kind of, they had to grow up, you know, that's why you were inspired them to grow, to mature, to do better. And with cauldron, it says synergy and healing. So they do feel this bond, this synergy, this chemistry. I was picking up someone that definitely feels like you are, you know, the yin to their yang. So they could be trying to manifest you back into their life as well because that cauldron is like, you know, that's one of the um, instruments that you use in, in cooking up some of your um, rituals. So this person does feel the synergy and chemistry with you. But they also feel, like I said, that you can you know, kind of like nurture their energy, like you're grounding, you have a very grounding, nurturing, loving energy. So it's like your, your, your energy is very healing. You have a very healing and nurturing and loving uh, quality. And that, that makes sense because you are, you know, that water element, which is very healing, you know? <clears throat> so there's something about you that's very inviting. There's something about you where, um, Maybe they felt heard for the first time. They felt seen for the first time. It's like you, you, you speak their energy, or you speak energy. You could see their soul. Like you could, you, you, your, your eyes could pierce right through their soul. They feel seen. If that makes sense, like it's like, you know, it's like there's nothing worse than feeling like you're amongst strangers, even though you're amongst people you know. You, if you know what I mean, like, and with you, it's like. It's like you knew each other in a former life or something. It's like they just feel this strong connection to you. And it is a strong bond because we did see that spiritual partnership and we saw 11, 11 a couple of times. But there's genuine love here. And what we also have is scrying intuition. So what did I say about them knowing how intuitive you are? You know, you're very wise, you're very in tune, very tapped in. And they see that, they know that. They may communicate with you intuitively as well because of that. You know, when they think of you frequently, you could be picking up on this person, um, on their energy. You may be picking up on the fact that they could be coming in. And we have Amon Omari. I just said you could be picking up on their energy and Amar, Amon Omari is playing energy. I can't make this ish up. And we got Skull of Flowers. And it says creating through the ashes. What did I say about you turning your vulnerabilities into your superpower? And that's what you've been busy doing. Like, you know, that helps, that ushers along that healing process as well. You know, that growing pain is really, you know, it's, it's beautiful because it allows you to purge also, you know, while you're creating, you're learning, you know, you're building talents and skills, but you're also healing in the same process. It's taking your mind off of things, but it's also you know, it's like a, a very, um, a very delicate and special process, the creative process that is, especially when you're in, um, you know, you're, you're like spiritually growing. This is beautiful. You're stronger, you're wiser, you've grown spiritually, emotionally, mentally. This is beautiful. And we got the death on the bottom of the deck. So there's definitely something's transforming. I feel like you could even have ancestors that could be sending you love. You know, like I said, I was picking up like your angels, you know, are aligning you with someone. So why is this love partnership here for what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? And we have Lauren Hill, Bob Marley. Turn your lights down low. Rise and power to Bob Marley. So infinite possibilities. Look at that. Skull of stars. So infinite possibilities is telling me you do have a wish fulfillment when it comes to love. So spirit is saying you have infinite possibilities, which means that you have options, you know, and that could be the reason why someone is definitely feeling like it's now or never. Like they got to close this gap because maybe they can feel that you're slipping away, so to speak. But this person feels like, you know, you are a wish fulfillment. When you think of the infinity symbol, it's like what goes around comes back around again. And that eight, you know, 26 and the infinity symbol, you know, is telling me that there is some someone remaining hopeful, someone walking in faith, 
perhaps to come towards you because that was getting like the eight of cups with this energy they feel like you know instead of feeling like you know um that lack or pessimistic it's like they're holding on to hope and they're pursuing their dreams you know they're trusting that things are going to work out in their favor they're walking in faith towards you because they feel you are the star remember that card said follow your dreams so someone is coming towards you or you could be going towards someone this is all you know you know based on um your circumstance so it's either your energy i'm picking up on or it could be the person that you are attracting to you so what we have is joy rejoicing in the present look at that so things are absolutely the outcome you know this is the card that's on the bottom of the deck for the outcome so i feel things are really really going to you know expand for you you know as i said the door to the personal healing and happiness is really opening up and you're going to feel so elated you know very victorious look at her arms it's creating like a v so i'm seeing like victory i'm seeing triumph you know i'm seeing forward movement i'm seeing you know the road opening up even and if you think of you know these leaves that they're falling you know but the leaves are you know during the fall season are a strong indication of the seasons changing so i feel you're coming out of a dark period into you know into a beautiful um period of change remember we started the reading with that change card so and i feel like nature spirit is saying go out in nature this makes you feel free this gives you downloads i feel you have a very natural bond connection you know union alliance synergy chemistry likeness to a person that's coming in and you're going to feel overjoyed you're going to be rejoicing this is making you feel very elated why is this 67 physical and this is someone coming in to put in the work remember we had that song i got work baby you know by um i got work to do or something like that was playing earlier if i'm not mistaken and that's like really someone really putting in the time and energy you know not afraid to put in that work so let's tap in so we have the veil the future this card showed up in the last reading so that person that was you you know they was utilizing ill use of their ions the illusions they were under an illusion you know now that veil is being pulled they're able to see into the future maybe they realize maybe they was lying about you know their future and the same card that's on the deck actually came out in the reading i always see that as a bonus so this is really spirit saying that you are absolutely you know someone who has turned pain into power because it says creating through the ashes so that death card that we saw shows your startling metamorphosis you fume, you took action and look what came right back out not only do you have joy rejoice in the present so you will be very happy you will be very elated with the outcome but you are also protected remember i told you that you had that three three and i was saying the ascended masters i feel the connections that you are forming and developing are also very connected are also i mean very protected pardon me so your your ancestors your angels are aligning you with your divine purpose or person passion and skulls indicate strength so i do feel spirit sees and acknowledges you know not only your spiritual strength but your emotional and mental strength and you have on the bottom of this deck victory and what did i say about this feminine's energy you see how she's throwing her hands up in joy rejoicing and celebrating and i said that looks like a v victory well this is what you got right here i can't make this ish up and with bob marley and lauren hill someone could be from jamaica someone could be from new jersey i'm here in newark trenton i'm even here in the burbs like in the suburbs so someone could be from you know some of those places but we turn your lights down um i feel like that's just saying meditate you know maybe you need to you know kind of sit in the dark meditate to get things straight maybe you're getting too much light you know maybe some of you all are you know looking at the screens too much you know that blu-ray light that blue light is really harmful to the eyes um but i i'm just getting a sense of like maybe the light is um you're very light sensitive but i'm also getting a sense of like turn the light down and just kind of go within and I just see someone meditating in the dark or just meditating under like a candlelight. 
what we have is that victory. So expect a victory, expect movement. You know, I feel things are absolutely coming um, into fruition for you. And, I, and, and look what I said about meditating and look what's underneath that. So they want you to go within to meditate because there is a decision. Some of you could feel like you're stuck at a fork in the road. And when you meditate, you get things straight because your angels and your guides will give you the download. You can see like downloads, divine intervention. There's like a literal like ability to, you know, kind of like get the, the, the get the messages you need when you take the time. Because you could be a little confused. There could be some conflict could be a little anxiety. If this isn't your energy, I definitely get a sense of whomever the person is that you are attracting to you. And we have um, Diana Ross and Marvin Gaye, my mistake. So that's that person trying to figure out, you know, how to come in and apologize. I don't even think you're sweating it as much as this person thinks you are, to be honest. Because like I said, I'm not getting like a, a toxic karmic ex or someone that you just broke free from after 10, 15, 20 years. Like I'm getting someone that you could have dated back in the day and things just like it just never picked up but there was always like you always felt a dope connection with this person or, or they definitely have not stopped thinking about you since you last spoke but it's like this person for some reason just feels like um you know feels heavy regret you know maybe they just you know they're just struggling with their own inner demons but we got the moon here someone could be Another, a fellow water sign, Pisces or Cancer. It says goddess of the moon. So there's absolutely manifestations. You know, this, this is going to make you feel very victorious. But I also feel this is someone, you know, who could be dreaming a lot, thinking a lot. Maybe even, you know, your intuition is telling you uh, that something's coming. You know, this is like literally like an indicator that, you know, something is manifesting. You know, something that you've called in, drew in, because we use the moon energy to manifest and something is absolutely manifesting and it's love. Got this man holding a heart. <clears throat> Some of you feminines have been calling in love, drawing in love. Some of you masculines have been calling in, drawing in love as well. And this 45, that nine that reduces to um, is definitely saying that there's change. Nine is the highest number of vibration of change. I feel a lot of you have also been really just loving yourselves because that is also given the nine of cups energy me myself and i remember beyonce opened up the reading singing that as well and i usually call the nine of cups my de la soul because that's the original me myself and i song you know so someone has really learned to um love themselves because they discovered love was an inside job and now that they've learned to love themselves and heal themselves they know themselves now they want to pursue you know because remember that's that person that was you know, kind of teaching and learning. What did I say about someone, you know, deceitful? You know, there was some deception, you know, and there was that, that decision that someone is needing to make, you know. And we have Mary J. Blige, You Remind Me, featuring Greg Nice. Someone's name could be Greg or Mary. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. So someone's definitely like, operating in their shadow side whenever you see the devil you know that's someone who's really struggling with you know control that could be ego inflation pride stubbornness you know but that's what that is you know and that's who or what you're attracting to you remember you know that energy and look at the sun so those cards were picking sticking out and something told me to pick it up so we have the sun here and there goes the envy and the jealousy i was just talking about so here we have it. Your cards have chosen themselves. See that? Got this attachment. Getting rid of the ego. Look at that. Yin and yang. What did I say about someone communicating? So all your messages came out. Bottom of the deck. We have Archangel Shamuel. That's the solar plexus. Um, so remember I was talking to the solar plexus with this 3-3. Three, three, saying someone was mustering up the strength and courage. And that's only because someone has done the work. You only muster up the strength and courage to come towards one someone hoping that they've forgiven you because you now have regrets. You found a reason to be remorseful. In the past, you're operating in pride, so you don't see, you don't feel you did anything wrong. But let's clarify these messages as they came out. So the 46, domestic harmony, and the ancestors, like I said, they are aligning you with something very beautiful. 
And this is something every, that's going to bring so much joy and peace. You had this joy card show up and the sun showing up in the reading is just confirming that. So something is really going to make you feel very elated. But this is also indicating that you are very strong, you know, that you have vitality, that you have really taken the time to nurture yourselves. I feel whoever is coming in is that person that you are going to build with, build a legacy, build generational wealth, someone loyal, someone faithful, someone trustworthy, someone that you will, you know, plant seeds and roots with. Someone that you will cultivate and nurture a beautiful bond and connection with. And this is someone that is, you know, very much, you know, adores you. You know, they have this adoration. They admire you. They see you as strong. They see you as someone who's, um, you know, really revitalized yourself, really, really healed and nurtured yourself. Um, but they've had this epiphany. There's, this, there's been this very, you know, um, this very powerful downloads that someone has had um when it has when it comes to this union this connection this bond um you know because this tree symbolizes like i said the the family tree you know the tree of life you can see the dna you know so this is speaking to um a very sacred bond you know with with whomever this person is i absolutely feel um you know that there is someone working through their shadow side of of, of feeling envy and jealousy and you know this is a very dark energy um, you know when someone is doing that shadow work um, they have to you know co confront you know these demons these internal demons and that's why spirit is saying it requires patience because you know in order for someone to to really heal you know they have to go within they have to be honest and I feel like that's the thing that kind of changes um, a relationship maybe someone is already partnered with another person that they may feel um, have these these issues or these tendencies and this is really just making them you know feel even more uncomfortable in terms of uh, wanting to stay in that partnership so it's like they're starting to see things for what they truly are they're starting to realize that something just is not um, you know serving their highest good uh, with this envy you know judgment Someone is getting a wake-up call, perhaps even of their own behavior. But like I said, with the zombie in control, um, you know that that M, that number twenty reduces to two. That's the the high um, high priestess. So someone could be really dealing with someone who has been kind of trying to manipulate their energy. Um, and then here you are, how they see you as you know this healer. Every great healer has to first heal themselves. And we have James Brown soul power. So this soul connection, this soul union, this you know soul mate that uh, feels that the two of you have this very sacred bond, synergy, chemistry. They feel that that power that you have can help heal them. Because it says healer of the ages and this is how they feel about you. With that 51, it reduces to six. That's still that lover's energy of that yin and yang. And that's also showing that you've been initiated, that you've been ushered in or had the rites of passage to become a healer. Every great healer has to first heal themselves. Someone could have been born in 1974. You know, um, I'm a 1974 baby. So, you know, my 1974 baby's 49. Seven goes into seven, four, you know, and that becomes 49. So I definitely feel like you all are very psychic, very in tune, very tapped in. This person knows that you're intuitive. You know, this person knows that you are in fact, you know, you are a spiritual practitioner, that you have the ability to see through the illusions, and that's why they are making it their business to, you know, get rid of these false, you know, masks. That's why you see this attachment, someone kind of realizing that they're wearing a mask, because remember, we have what's hidden, is you have love partnership, and then you also have the skull of stars, infinite possibilities. So this is giving me an indication that if something didn't work out one way, it, it, it could potentially work out the next time. Or it didn't work out one time, it couldn't work out the next time because it's like what goes around comes back around again. So it's like karma. Someone was, you know, dealing with a karmic situation. But with this, this is like, this is forcing them to, you know, really look at things for what they truly are. And they discover, they've been wearing a mask, they discover that they're stuck in a volatile situation where they feel bound and stuff because remember you got this envious card you know you also had the deceit card show up as well 
So someone is dealing with, you know, someone that could be very envious and toxic and volatile. This is a very great card. It's giving me the energy of like five of swords where someone was dealing with someone smug, combative, hostile. This caused a lot of anxiety, fears, you know. And with that soul power, I feel like your your spirit, your light, your 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 wise dome, um, whatever they've been learning from you as they watched you. Because I also get a sense of someone kind of watching you from a distance. It's like that's what given that's what's given or provided them the strength to break free from this you know this energy. Because this is a dark energy, so someone has been in a dark place even here. You know, someone envies another person. If you are in, you know, a, a partnership, you shouldn't have those emotions. That just speaks to the spiritual work that's required or the soul work or the healing, even more importantly. So that control, you know, the control, that's also like devil energy as well, trying to control. But that communication has been expressed several times. I was even picking up on that. So Archangel Gabriel rules the throat chakra. So that's saying that there is someone going to express some sort of an apology. This is that same person that sees you as the yin to their yang, their twin flame. This is a protected union because spirit has already said that this is destined. I was picking up on your ascended masters and you have angels showing up. And it's because, you know, this is a sacred bond and you will have victory over your haters. You will have a victory over, you know, those who are trying to uh, perhaps sabotage this connection a divine masculine that loves you ladies will be coming in and a divine feminine who loves you will be expressing their love uh masculine so this is beautiful so let's tap in so let's see what we got coming in going out going on with the goddess guidance deck my beautiful souls all right, so look what we have. We have prosperity here on the bottom of the deck. So this is beautiful. So not only, like I said, are you going to be emotionally um, fulfilled, but you also will be financially fulfilled and stable, you know, because this Ten of Pentacles is, you know, it embodies that emotional fulfillment, but also that financial fulfillment. So you could be building um, partnerships with your lover. You could be going into business together. You know, like I said, generational wealth, you know, building a legacy, and this James Brown energy, you know, with soul power, you're a power couple, you know, I'm just getting a sense of like, now you're owning your power. So as you own your power, especially with the sun, you know, that vitality, that strength, it just becomes very infectious. So you start attracting what you desire. You know, you start attracting things to you. I can't make this up. Lakshmi. So, you know, Mama Lakshmi's um, day is coming up. If I'm not mistaken, it might be tomorrow. It's one of these days, look that up, but do a ritual to Mama Lakshmi. But this is double confirmation. It says prosperity and bright future. And we are about to clarify uh, the cards and the sun, you know, that the sun came out in, which is the overall energy. So it says, stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. And I like to say everything is already all right. And this card says the universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving. So you have to be open and receptive. I was speaking to that in a former reading about not being clammed up and closed up because you could block your blessings. You could block those very things you've been praying and asking for. You know, so divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. What messages do you have for my beloved Scorpios from the goddess guidance deck? But I do feel spirit also acknowledges your strength, your power. Like I said, a lot of you have had to persevere and overcome a lot of volatile situations. I feel whoever you have inspired, there goes that bright future yet again. Independence, a lot of you have discovered that your independence is the foundation for your stability, your security, your happiness. So you had to walk away from those relationships and connections, you know, that were not feeding and nurturing you or people that were not appreciating and valuing you. And that's how you were able to take your strength back or your power back. Um, and this could have caused some envy. Because you could have had people codependent on you. You know, like I said, people can, you know, become very, um, um, like, controlling or needy or, you know, expect more of you than they should. Because it's like we all are responsible for, you know, ourselves first and foremost. you got to take care of you before you can take care of someone else. So someone could have felt obligated to your time, could have felt obligated to your energy 
and that could be you know the reason why um, there could have been some some of that hostility I was picking up or the deception you know even the envy because it's like you know maybe someone sees that you've been really working on yourself and they see the results of that work you've been doing you know the results is that your 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 life is expanding you're successful you know the doors to personal healing and happiness have opened up for you you know so now someone is trying to find a way to get back to you we got the moments so someone just wants a moment someone may just ask for a moment of your time you know, maybe to, you know, express something to you. And I'm hearing you could, you know, hear them out, you know, hear someone out. Someone may express something that may shock you, you know, because I kept hearing communication, you know, and there is distance. This is someone you haven't heard from in a while. So the card that flew out, divine passion, or wasn't I speaking to someone who's, you know, their, their feelings are erupting or there's some sort of of um realization of the passion and the fire and the desire they have and look there's like this volcano and this eruption so someone definitely is like very attracted to you it says be honest with yourself what is your heart's truest desires that is what someone is doing for the first time and they're finally being honest being truthful finally following their heart's truest desires they're finally realizing that you are the sun this is the epiphany they're finally you know acknowledging that they have this passion that they can see a future family children you know remember we had golden child maybe you will birth a golden child with this person a star seed you know this is you and this person coming into domestic harmony because this is a very sacred bond sacred union and this is someone that is destined to be in your family this is written in the stars this is like someone that's destined to be in your family and they're going to find a way they got to find a way they feel like they got to find a way to come in and express this communicate this we got home here vesta so someone is really just like, you know, maybe there's um, some sort of change that's taking place because who or what you're attracting to you, it says home. So this is that person that may feel like you're like home. You just feel, you know, like home, the hearth. You're that person that this person um, can imagine like having a happy house with, you know, having that happy house, happy spouse energy that I was picking up on because it says your household situation is improving. So they can see themselves, like I said earlier, building with you, you know, planting seeds, planting roots. Someone's had a wake up call. You know, I feel like spirit has given someone a wake up call with this zombie control. Maybe they've had a wake up call, you know, that they're controlling ways, you know, are very unhealthy. And this is, you know, this has led, you know, to, a lot of um you know it's led to a lot of confusion you know even could have led to separation you know a disconnection you know but let's tap in so why um why is 41 self-discipline 56 relationship change two patients control zombie and envy 20 here for who or what our beloved scorpios are attracting to them we got mother earth what did I say about someone feeling you're very earthy, down to earth? A lot of you are environmentalist. <clears throat> My throat is getting blocked. So this person is, you know, has difficulty communicating. And I'm hearing that song. Now you cross my heart for the evening. Kiss my cheek, move in. You confuse things. Oh, come harder. Help me find my way. Now you... What'd they say? What's that um a tribe called quest song? <clears throat> That's what I'm hearing in my mind's eye. Now you cross my heart for the evening. Kiss my cheek, move in, you confuse thing. Should I just fall back or come harder? Help me find my way. So that's what they're saying. Like <clears throat> so they they're trying to they're struggling with should they fall back or should they come harder? Because I've heard gotta find my way. So that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to like they're like torn. Because remember we saw indecision. So they're trying to figure out how to come towards you. And I feel like they just feel this, this connection. They feel drawn to you because you do have a very healing and nurturing quality energy. That's just your element. You are a healer. You absolutely are, um, you know, a healer, shaman, light worker. You are, you, you, you're spiritually strong, you know, with healer of the ages here. There's no doubt about it. You also have, you know, this creating through the ashes which shows that you've turned your pain into power that you are in fact the conduit of change that's why that change 
opened up the reading because you usher in change like no other Scorpios. You know, you know how to transmute negative energy, transmute, you know, energy in general, you know, to, to, um, to initiate the changes that are necessary. So the cards that flew out, you have cycles and rhythms. So someone is definitely wrapping up a cycle because it says honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. So someone is taking that time to reflect, to introspect, to go within, you know, the cycles represent you know, um, you know, those periods in your life that you have to, you know, really assess to see if there's something that requires change. Like you going to keep on going with this cycle or do we need to, you know, to, to, um, to wrap it up. And this is someone really moving to the beat of their own drum. You can see that she's drawing to me what appears to be like a line, you know, trying to draw a line in the sand. It's like, this is to me making an, an executive decision or a decision to um, to honor, you know, how one feels, you know. And it says Drake, and this is um from time featuring Janae Heiko. So from time, I feel like spirit is saying, you know, time is of the essence, divine timing. That's why it's patience. Patience is required because someone is doing the work. You can see that clearly using this, you know, staff and the staff is, you know, an instrument to manifest. It's also a staff that you utilize on your journey. So someone is really, you know, I feel manifesting, um, a change because they're realizing that something within them is, is really, you know, calling for a change. You know, they're, they're answering this, this, this call, you know, this their 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 um their desires no longer can be suppressed and they're they're honoring that you know they're honoring that this is beautiful and we also have go outside so someone has been really in a very dark place we can see clearly here you know and you could even see here this envious person is just stuck in the house someone could be just envious of your growth like i said cuz they're looking directly in your uh, direction so someone could have been very you know it could have started off like you know as envy and control and all of these um, low vibrational things but perhaps when they earth themselves and go outside in nature the a whole world opens up to them you know and we also have start delegating green Tara and that says ask so someone is very proud. When you don't ask, you, that's your pride and your ego. So someone could be very boggled down with responsibilities and due to pride and ego, they're not delegating appropriately and it's leaving them to feel very overwhelmed. And that could be a reason why someone starts projecting envy and jealousy and you know all of these things to others that may appear like oh it just comes easy oh life is looking good but this is the energy on the bottom of the deck for how someone feels about you and they feel that you are you know very grounded you know remember we heard Oshun and we saw brown I mean heard brown so someone definitely feels like you are um, very grounded or you ground their energy you know you're like the umi the mother the matriarch you know you're very wise very maternal very paternal if you're masculine and we have true love. Someone definitely loves you deeply, dearly. We have focused intention. So they know. And what was I saying about someone hitting their mark? And it says, keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target. And you will make your mark. So how someone feels about you is this time around, they're very focused on, you know, finally not only shooting their shot, shot, um, shot because remember before I was like, they didn't shoot their shot. They didn't take initiative which is why something could have, you know, led to the demise because they, they just, they was playing with time. They was acting like time was on their side and it wasn't because you, you may have just kind of closed off or the connection just kind of fizzled out. But now this person is very focused. And when they're focused, it's like, you know, they're, they're studying you, you know, they're, they're, they're practicing, rehearsing what they're going to say. You know, this is someone that's coming in very intentional and very generous and very, very much um 
looking to to like I said, you know, to to clear the air or to close the gap that they feel. But they're very focused and they know you're very in tune as well. So that's why they are, you know, really stu it's like they're studying or preparing. And we have D'Angelo the root. I remember what I was saying about someone um, you know, could have been working through their root chakra, trying to heal from familial traumas or mommy daddy issues. So they had to get to the root cause of the problem. Yep, and that's what caught. That's what led to, or caused. You know, such um, through it, 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 like it, it 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 threw a wedge in the connection because I feel someone was like wasn't as emotionally intelligent as you, and I feel it had a lot to do with their upbringing because I was picking up someone who may not have um, felt, you know, able to express themselves when they were younger. Maybe they, you know, felt like people never listened to them. They didn't feel heard. So when it comes to communicating or expressing, that was very difficult for them. And maybe that's what they had to work through. Maybe they are envious of your ability to express yourself or to be your authentic self because maybe this is that person that's been very proud or very, you know, um, you know, kind of hiding, hiding behind a mask, not living in their authenticity, you know. But now this focused intention um, and also the fact that they've been kind of, you know, um, learning from you, it's like you're giving them, you know, it's like you're, you're breathing life into them. You're, you're, you're revitalizing them, you're rejuvenating them, their spirit, you know, you're, you're giving them that hope, you know, that hope and that optimism. But with D'Angelo, someone could be from VA, Virginia, someone could also be named D'Angelo or D, you know, I'm hearing D, someone could be called D. So we have true love here, and it says the romantic stirrings in your heart has propelled the universe to deliver great love. So that's the wish fulfillments that I was picking up on. That's the person coming in. It's like enter Scorpio's love scene. You know, this is the new, you know, uh, person, new and improved. You know, this is the work, self-reflection, introspection, taking off the mask, realizing you are bound by, you know, these, your shadow side and needing to work through and heal from you know, whatever traumas you've experienced in your life, childhood traumas, familial traumas, past life traumas, but this requires healing your inner child, especially with the root. The root chakra is the first chakra, the base chakra. That's the chakra Scorpio's um, rule over. So that's about your family, stability, your security. Whoever this is never felt safe or secure. This could be even your energy. You didn't feel that sense of security you know, coming up or growing up, maybe there was abandonment, maybe if, you know, your own mothers and fathers didn't raise you, you were raised by others, so there's, there's, there was a lot that you had to navigate and work through, you know, and if this isn't your energy, again, this could be the person you're attracting to you, but I feel like someone is going to realize that they're bound, and whatever isn't growing, it's dead, that's why this is a gray, gloomy, dark, you know, depressing card, but spirit is reminding someone, you have infinite possibilities out here, you know, so what goes around comes back around again. There's another opportunity. You know, there's another chance. So let's tap in. So why is this 26 love partnership, infinite possibilities and attachment here for what's hidden in the energy? And I just feel like someone is like cutting themselves free. They're being broken free. And it says unconditional love. See that you are loved unconditionally. And I also feel with that Mary Magdalene. You know, this is, again, your, your angels, your archangels, you know, filling that void that you initially may have felt and reminding you to, to love thyself. You know, no one should validate you. No one should, you know, have more, you know, more control over your love of self or over your happiness. You know, no one should ever be able to steal your joy or dim your light. And it says, love yourself, others in every situation, no matter what the outward appearance may be. This is a lack of love, you know. This is believing those false narratives or believing what people project onto you. You know, this is what that is. But when you start to love yourself and start loving from, you know, from the inside out, that's when you start to project that. That's when you start, you know, to exude that self-love or you start to... Um, 
you know, you just start to walk in that, that light and that makes you attractive and that opens up opportunities. Spirit is saying, be easy on yourself. I also feel like spirit is just saying that, you know, someone is going to, um, come toward you because it says everything is occurring in perfect time. And there is no need to hurry or force anything to happen. So good things take time to create. That's why this person is being reminded because this is who you, or what your person that you're attracting to you rather. And it says patience. So this person, remember, I was feeling like someone was feeling like they better hurry up. You know, they got to get to you. They got to say something. The spirit is like, nah, take your time to get it right. Take your time to, to, you know, formulate your words in a way that, that it will be effective, you know, where there won't be this feeling of disingenuousness or like somebody's just, you know, just, just regurgitating ish. It's like, take time to get it right. Be in harmony, you know, speak from your heart, speak from a genuine place because someone has bad habits, you know, bad habit of just like, you know, kind of having diarrhea of the mouth, you know, the, you know, the bad habit is reverting back to the old way. Spirit is like easy. Does it don't force things. Remember that this, this is that person trying to, you know, navigate, you know, out of this place of needing to control and puppeteer, be a puppet master. And, you know, so this is someone kind of like, you know, spirit is really giving them some, some pointers on, how to um, approach the situation um, more effectively. So why is the 67 physical activity, 74 nature, rejoice and celebration, protection, um, 39, throat chakra, and 22, yin yang. And we have high priestess. So I mentioned the high priestess. So trust your intuition. This card is also on the bottom of the deck. So this is like a bonus message. This is the energy you're in. I also feel this is also spirit reminding you always trust your intuition. And realize that you are absolutely a healer, shaman, light worker out here. You have divine knowledge and divine wisdom, you know, and you are a, a teacher. You are here, you know, to teach others. And I feel someone is aware of that. So not only did you get green Tara, but you also have white Tara. And I feel like this is spirit reminding you to be very sensitive to other people's needs, to be compassionate, non-judgmental, and more importantly, forgiving. But this is also saying that you've grown very sensitive to relationships, to circumstances. So you're not going to be open to deal with people who don't know how to emote, who are very, you know, um, you know, who lack emotional intelligence, who don't really, you know, show that um, affection or, you know, attention that you require. Because that's your love language, Scorpio, you know? And so, you know, you're, you've grown very sensitive to certain situations. This person realizes that, you know? We also have boundaries. So remember what I was saying about, you know, you, you appearing very guarded or, you know, establishing these, 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 these uh, walls, having these walls up rather. Um, but it's because you love yourself. It's because you had to make sure that you uh, could heal yourself. You can't be available to everyone and still healing yourself because too many people have access. So this is about loving yourself enough to know when to say no to folks, when to give people your time. Don't feel obligated um, to people demanding anything from you. Always speak your truth. Always speak, um, you know, in, in, in a, um, speak your truth, you know, just speak your truth and, you know, realize that when something doesn't feel right or sit right, that's because your intuition, your, your spirit is, you know, letting you know that something doesn't, is not really serving your highest good. You also have Mama Yemenya. So I spoke of Mama Oshun earlier. Um, and this is Mama Yemenya. So, you know, this energy, she's another Orisha, says golden opportunities. So important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. So spirit is opening up that door to personal healing and happiness for you. And spirit is telling you to, you know, be, be open. Be open to those possibilities. So look at this. This is beautiful. So this is my deck. It says, you've experienced many life changes. Congratulations. So you are being acknowledged for, you know, the changes that you have been implementing in your life. I definitely feel like spirit uh, has seen you, you know, persevere through a lot. That's also you acknowledging the changes you've been through because, you know, you're you're more sensitive now to circumstances. You may even be growing um, very like, how do you say, like, um, like even foods that you were used to eating, you're noticing like it may be a little too harsh now or it's not 
as fulfilling as it may have been in the past or you realize like it's not really nourishing you in the way that it may have um it's just things are changing you're growing more sensitive and it's because you're ascending so we have emotional investment longevity stability security so that's everything that that ten of pentacles embodies you know so this is the overall energy it says divine passion so you have some very strong emotional investments that are coming and that's why you have uh this happiness and this this peace and this passion um you know this domestic harmony that is embodying all of the aforementioned on this card so someone is coming in to really invest in you invest in this connection because they could see a future i feel in the past as i said remember we saw that veil card and i was saying someone was like really operating in their lower self um and it's because they were not really being honest with themselves they were kind of like you know being very stubborn in a sense or hard-headed or maybe they just simply just um well unaware you know but um now there is this you know this desire someone is like really feeling um this energy of wanting to you know go after what they want this feeling is erupting um whatever was lying dormant within this person is now is imploding exploding and this is what they also know they could have uh, because they see your worth and value as well they see longevity i was getting happy house happy spouse someone you know wanting that happily ever after and that's exactly what i see here so we have oneness so someone had to come back into harmony with themselves because someone was definitely dealing with um some com you know conflict i feel emotional conflict internal conflict but i do feel like someone is really you know grounding themselves i remember we had uh, Lauren Hill and Stephen Marley saying turn the lights down low and I was just getting a sense of someone needing to meditate we also have this go outside card so this person has been kind of like in that that energy of being like a hermit you know just kind of in seclusion um you know not really getting out there to um you know to socialize or to to, to just get air you know to get air get fresh air to see things from a different perspective you know even delegating asking for what you need or you know just getting out of that space of being too proud you know um so we have samfa this is called plastic so this is that person that was not being uh true and honest to themselves because plastic is fake you know that's another way of someone saying flake um so yeah someone could have been fake or flaked on you in the past this is that same person thank you spirit that was wearing you know this mask most masks are made from like that plastic material Especially when you think of like costumes, they make it out of plastic. So this person was wearing a mask and it says, I'm falling off my game, messed around and fell in love with you. Damn. So this person has had some sort of epiphany and that's why there is this energy of, you know, this relationship change. If someone was stuck in another relationship or dealing with another person, they are going to leave that relationship because they realize they're actually, they're actually in love with you. Um, if this person isn't with someone, this is just you attracting someone who could have been kind of like um you know not not i don't want to say non-committal but just someone who refused to um be in a serious relationship maybe someone who always would say oh I'm, i don't want to get married or i don't want to be just with someone just one person or it's like something you know about the connection with you has changed this person's perspective so they are literally truly um you know in love i'm getting in love because we also saw that true love earlier all right she's just walking all over the damn cards so what did i say about this person assuming that you are blocked off assuming that you um have these boundaries or that you're going to respond in a certain way this access denied they may feel blocked you know i don't know if you have changed your phone number if you moved away because i was picking up like you moved away and someone is trying to figure out how to get in contact with you uh, someone wants to communicate with you they may not have your number may not have your address anymore so they feel blocked they're trying to figure this out um so let's tap in why is this 33 communication um the owl wise seeing wise action um cauldron synergy and healing scrying intuition skull of flowers creating through the ashes healer of the ages 51 and diana focused intention here for my beloved Scorpios and how this person they're attracting to them feel about them. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Divine spirit. So with plastic playing, like I said, 
this person realizes that they weren't being their authentic self. So this card wants to fall. I'm going to let it. And I just want to get another card. So that card wants, wanted to come out. So it says music is my sanctuary. So someone definitely that I feel, you know, maybe you two, you know, went to some concerts together, live shows. Maybe you listen to music together. Maybe you like the same type of music. Maybe this person listens to music and thinks of you. Maybe this person is clairaudient. Maybe this person sends you, you know, messages telepathically. Maybe this is someone who's into, um, you know, instruments or is a producer or maybe a songwriter, a rapper, a hip hop artist, whatever. They listen to music. Um, and they are constantly thinking of you. And it says wherever your attention goes, energy flows. So whatever they're thinking of, that's your, you could be picking up on their energy. Because remember, they know that you're intuitive. So they could be doing this intentionally because they know that you will pick up on their energy and showing you the wrong card. Um, intuition. So this person could be thinking of you a lot. And you could be picking up on this because you are also you know you know wise seeing wise action so maybe they think that you know the more they think of you perhaps this will encourage you to reach out to them because they don't have your information or maybe this is just them you know preparing you for when they come towards you but i absolutely feel like this person um is thinking of you a lot so that's why you may be picking up on someone's energy maybe you're thinking of someone you haven't heard from in a while it's just like dang i wonder what's going on with such and such and it's because well this person is thinking of you a lot um we have it says nature walks nature talks so this is you know the car that's on uh what's hidden in the energy and remember your person was being told to go out in nature um you also have the nature card maybe this is something that the two of you will do or something you both will enjoy is being out in nature taking nature walks finding a pond a lake a river to walk on or to sit by and just have dialogue uh, happy house, happy spouse. This is how that person feels about you. I can't make this ish up. And it says you are a miracle and you deserve the absolute best. So this is what's hidden in the energy. So you will receive the absolute best because Mary Magdalene is saying that you deserve it. So there's a miracle that is taking place. Your answers are being, I mean, your prayers are being answered. You have unconditional love coming and it says enough of no love. I know my worth now by. So whoever this was that was feeling stuck and stagnant or attached to volatile, hostile energy. They're leaving that behind because there's no happiness here. This is someone that has really been, you know, feeling like they've been, you know, wearing a false mask in a relationship, not living in their authenticity. Um, there's been a lot of arguments, fighting, just turbulence and chaos, you know, and now they're leaving that situation, leaving the turbulent waters, the murky waters to go find their peace, to go find you, you know, because you're like the home and the hearth to this person. And we have regalia, and um, this is by Bridget Fontaine. So someone's name could be Bridget. So definitely, um, so let's tap it. So why is, why is the 67 physical activity, 74 nature, rejoice and celebration. Wow, all of those cards want to come out. So I will let it. All right. And we have healer, shaman, light worker. I told y'all, you all are healer, light, shamans and light workers. So this person really feels you could heal them or maybe you have already been healing them because like I said, this person has been watching you. So we definitely feel this energy. This is confirmation of that. So what we have that flew out and then we're going to wrap it up. So we have, I got played for Boo Boo the Fool. So someone could have definitely felt like they, um, you know, chose the wrong option. You know, whatever they chose, whatever they land, wherever they ended up, it wasn't what it was all cracked up to be. Um, you could have felt this sentiment that someone was playing and toying with your emotion. Um, but there's definitely this epiphany, someone taking onus and accountability that they, you know, made the wrong decision. We also have turned that frown upside down. So if some of you all were suffering from like, just, you know, like, I don't want to call it depression, but just not feeling very fulfilled or, you know, not feeling like you have a lot of joy and happiness. I feel like spirit is reminding you to smile, um, you know, even through the, you know, the hurt, you know, um, because, you know, there's, there truly is, you know, you, you got to remember that you are someone who has to, um, you have to like brave your light, even through the pain. No, 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 no. You're going to knock my computer down. Sorry, my love. You know, you got to brave your light. So it's like, even sometimes you got to like fake it to make it. Even when you're feeling sad, you have to, you know, you kind of got to like, you got to face everything and rise, you know? It's like you can't just give in to the to the pain and the hurt and the trauma. You gotta really truly, you gotta like really 
remind yourself that you was made for this. You was, you're built for this. So turn that frown upside down and smile through the pain. You know, it's like you, you have to accept that pain because that pain is what's going to, you know, bring you through. That's what's going to usher you into the new phase and stage. Have the attitude of gratitude. This is beautiful. That attitude of gratitude is really, um, that changes your vibration also, even though you may not have this, you know, something exactly the way you want it, but it's like, look at the things you still have, the things that you do have, things that you possibly could have prayed for or that you once didn't have. It's like, be, show thanks, you know, gratitude for that. Just waking up every day is a bliss and people take for granted. So when you're in that attitude of gratitude, I do feel like spirit says that does make it easier for your blessings to come in. You got some folks watching and we already know you had some envy, you know, this could be your energy. This could be the person, you know, that you're dealing with. There's some envious energy, very jealous, very deceitful energy. Everybody's not going to be happy for you. Everybody's not going to be, you know, um, congratulating you or, you know, like, you know, rooting you on. There's going to be some folks that are very hateful. They're going to hate the way other people love you. You know, and it's because your beautiful spirit, the way you shine bright, it irritates their demons. We also have be thankful for what you got. I just literally said that. It's like be thankful for the things that you have, the breath of life, the roof over your head, the food that you, you know, nourish your body with. It's like be thankful for those things because that opens up the door for more blessings to come through. You know, spirit wants you to love unconditionally as well, not just when things are going well. It's like, you know, you still have to show up in the world, even when things may appear to be chaotic. It's like you still got to like brave through it and push through it because you're not always going to everything's not going to always be perfect. So this is a good way to, you know, just like, you know, it, it strengthens you in a way, you know. And it says you are like, unlike anyone I've ever met or dealt with. This is why this person can't let you go because they realize that fact. You're like an earth angel. You're regal. You're royal. You're rare. You're beautiful. You're wise. You're intelligent. Like you just have all of the attributes and characteristics that this person didn't realize they wanted or needed until they bumped into you. But they will never find another you. You're unique. You're rare. You're mysterious. You're intriguing. You're alluring. You also have, I want to hear your voice again. What did I say? Someone misses you. If someone definitely misses you haven't heard from you it says not with the shits they know you're not playing and that's another reason why they're a little you know intimidated or hesitant to come towards you and i feel like they, they're trying to make sure that they refine themselves that they come in prepared and ready and it says i don't have my, any standards and will put my thing in anything dog or stray cat could have been dealing with someone in the past that you know like i said was just not non-committal you know and you may have seen things in this person initially when you were perhaps you know potentially thinking about dating them that you know just turned you off and you was like eh, I'm good you know but I feel this person has matured since then and it says shit um shift happens so there's been a shift there's been someone you know there's been a pivot and that means positively there's been a, a, a positive shift someone went from being a stray dog stray cat to now wanting to be domesticated that's what I heard in my mind's eye someone wants to be domesticated now and we have um it was all growing pain see that so this was all life lessons. Spirit was teaching you something. And it says hidden in plain sight. So there's someone hidden in plain sight. Perhaps there's something, um, you know, that you all, you know, maybe this person didn't realize, you know, the gem that you were, like I said, um, because you were always right there. You know, they always had you and then they let you slip away. And that could be the reason why, you know, they could be feeling a certain type of way. But this is a beautiful reading, my beautiful Scorpios. I hope the messages resonated if you found that it did. Please be kind, hit the like button, the share button, definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. If you are interested in booking a spiritual consultation with me, check the description box below and book your spiritual consultation with me on my Etsy shop. To all of my beloveds returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love is love. I hope all of you new folks found the messages resonated and you stay a while, you know. But thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in. Enjoy your 11 11. Master, manifest what you want into your reality. Plant those seeds, beloveds. Big things are going on. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping. Until next time, peace, love, and light.